Well, hello, and if you're going down to London today, or even if you're not, and you are a fellow Leeds United fan, I'm pretty confident, in fact, I'm feeling supremely confident that we're going to go to Stamford Bridge today and get three points. So here's a quiz question for you. Since November, um, Chelsea have only managed to score goals against RB Leipzig, Brighton, and they got one goal there. They got thumped 4-1. Zagreb. Bournemouth, Nottingham Forest, Fulham and Southampton. Those are the only teams who Chelsea managed to score goals against. A couple of those games they also lost uh, despite scoring those goals. So yeah, I'm feeling supremely confident about today's match. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my prediction at the end of this video. So what is going on at Chelsea and why am I feeling so supremely confident about this game? Well, I've already told you the teams who Chelsea have managed to score against. So we're going to have a look some more at some stats and hopefully those stats will guide us in the right direction. We all know that Potter is a man under tremendous pressure and it reminds me, Chelsea fans, if you are there and you are listening, and I know we don't have any love lost for each other, but I think that you are in a stage... Uh, that we were in a few weeks ago with Jesse Marsh where Potter's reign is coming to an end I'm pretty sure that uh, the owners will soon lose faith, lose confidence in him it's quite clear by the sounds of it that the players are not convinced it doesn't look like they're playing together it doesn't look like they're gelling it doesn't look like they believe in the manager his tactics obviously his training methods etc and the things that he says and the thing that struck me and the reason I say that is because in the recent press conference he came into the room and without answering any question he just simply said oh sorry I'm really late uh, I've been to an emergency meeting or something along those lines I don't know what you think but I think that's a telltale sign of a guy who is getting paid, doesn't really seem to care about uh, Chelsea Football Club and you know that emanates throughout the team, uh, the fans, I mean even some of the fans YouTube channels who I've been on to have a look at this week to see what Chelsea Football, fans, football Club fans are saying are all seeming uh, and feeling a little bit negative and they are generally saying that you know Leeds are going to go down there they've got a, a, a new impetus new manager he knows what he's doing a man who knows his football and uh, they are seemingly expecting to get beaten and quite convincingly at Stamford Bridge which is quite a sad state of affairs for Chelsea Football Club I don't really care I want to go down there get three points a convincing win for us would be a great thing uh, but for Chelsea this week or over the last uh, 10 days you've managed to slip into a negative goal difference so it's all to play for for Leeds United and uh, we don't really have any news yet about what the uh, teams are going to be or what they're going to look like everything is apparently all the same according to Grathia and the players are making slow recoveries I'd love to really see Stuart Dallas coming back into the fray and uh, being available for selection, but it sounds like you know that injury that he sustained uh, has kept him out for a long, long, long time now. And hopefully Stuart takes his time to get recovered, um, and you know we'll see him back in a lead shirt on the on the in the first team next season in the Premier League. If we win today, it's going to be the first, or Grathia will be the first manager since Terry Venables in 2002 to win his opening two games uh, as manager for Leeds United. So that's a good little omen for us. Another one that I saw floating around this week when I've been doing some research for this video is that um, the when he was in charge at Watford in his second match, he played Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And guess what the score was, and this is what I'm predicting today. Yes, the score was 4-1 for Watford. So I'm predicting that Leeds are going to be 4-1. Uh, and I predicted earlier on this week, if you join me on my live session, I predicted 4-1 uh, before I'd even read those statistics. So uh, 
all the omens are pointing in the right direction. It's a Leeds win, and uh, the stats are even showing that we're, we're likely, or more likely than not, to win this particular match. Chelsea are on a terrible run of form. Uh, they're struggling to score goals. They've managed six goals since November, uh, which is, I think, it, it, it can't be far off being... Uh, about equal to us, <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, it, it's weird how they started off the the campaign and they've they've done they were doing all right, and then it seemed like they they played us and then they played Brighton and they lost four one against Brighton, and it it's just been like a free fall drop from there. I don't know what's going on. I haven't really seen them play. Might be a good idea to have a look at the last video against Spurs. And see what Spurs did to them and how they got uh, how they got the two nil victory over um, Chelsea, but make no mistake, I th Grathia will have done his uh, research on Chelsea. I mean, three years ago is a long time, and uh, he'll have got all the new up to date data and statistics and looking at the the other Chelsea players, what they do, what they're likely to do, what they're not likely to do, and try and play them to their weaknesses. I'm pretty sure again 4-1 for today's victory marching on together if you're travelling down to London great well done I hope you uh, take over Stamford Bridge and uh, really make your voices heard and uh, again if you're not um, able to watch the match I'll be doing a watch along there are other Leeds United YouTubers doing watch alongs as well so uh, you know come on join one of us uh, join me as well that'd be good <laughs> take care and i'll see you for the watch along later today